All right. Hi, I'm Evan Chu, Global CEO of 72 and Sunny. We're coming to you live from Stagwell Sport Beach at the center of the Can Lion Festival of Creativity, where we're celebrating the intersection of sport, culture, and fandom. I'm joined here by my friend Danita Johnson, the president of business operations at DC United. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me this morning. Let's get in it. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here this week. Yeah, absolutely. So excited to be here this week. Um, I am here, uh, again, Danita Johnson, President of Business Operations for DC United, and one of the main reasons I'm here is because of the continued growth of soccer in the U.S. Um, I'm really excited to think about what the direction of Major League Soccer, and for us in DC United as being one of the first clubs ever named in Major League Soccer, right now we want to continue to expand and grow from an organizational standpoint. So we're excited to connect with brands, share our story, and really continue to help elevate the game. I love that. Yeah. And ahead of the World Cup coming to the U.S., how? How do you see that in relation to the MLS and how are you all thinking about that? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the things I often reflect on is the fact that Major League Soccer and the whole entire league began after the World Cup back in 1994. And we think about how that trajectory changed soccer here in the States in the first evolution. I think as we get prepared for 2026, we have the opportunity to continue to grow the game. As we know, soccer is the world's game. And so our ability to really bring soccer to the forefront in the U.S., elevate the game when you have players like Lionel Messi joining our league, partners such as Apple TV coming on board. There's a lot to watch. There's a lot to see as we continue to grow and elevate. So we're excited to see what happens next. Absolutely. And do you see a rise in fans, attendance, and ticket sales ahead of the Olympics or when the Olympics hit and soccer is suddenly front and center and when the World Cup is coming? Absolutely. We're already starting to see some of that influx. Excuse me. We're already starting to see some of that growth currently. Um, we've seen across the league increase in sales, across our club increase in sales from both season ticket sales, individual sales, um, and continued viewership growth as well. So we're seeing a little bit of that buzz as we're starting to lead in, and we're hoping you know we really hit that tipping point back as we grow into 2026. Absolutely, yeah. and hopefully that also translates into great conversations with brands Absolutely. about why they should get involved with not just soccer, not just the MLS, but DC United. Yes, you know. So one, being the nation's capital in D.C. is so important. And our ability to connect to the rest of the world is critical for so many brands. One of the reasons we're actually here today, right? Mm -hmm. You know, this is a global piece for us. And being in D.C., our connections to the rest of the world, the embassies, are, are really a major part of how we do business. And I think brands partnering with D.C. United have the opportunity to not only touch D.C., but touch the world. And we're hoping that people can start to see that and we have the ability to tell our story with them. I love that. So inspiring. And I think, it, you know, as one of the original clubs yes. and your history and, and what you can do with it, tell me how you think about brand partnerships and what's important to you when you're looking for partners for DC United. You know, I am really big about our values as an organization. And I want to make sure that brands that we align with have common shared values. Community is an important part of the work in which we do. And we want to show up well in the community and be those that serve it, you know, through creating different opportunities for our youth, um, focusing on health and wellness, um, empowerment are all big pieces for us. And so when I look at brands, I wanna make sure not only can we help elevate their business and their bottom line, as we all know that's very important, mm -hmm. but are we also helping from a global perspective? Are we helping our communities? Are we enriching lives together? And so when we align with brands, we're looking for a little bit of both. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I love that you've brought it there because that's gonna be my next question. I know your background is in youth and then also uh, the WNBA on yes. the rise, which is super <laughs> amazing to see. Um, I would love to hear you talk a little bit as a leader. Um, we have a lot of leaders here, a lot of aspiring leaders who watch the content that's going on here. What do you think is important as a leader in an organization? And at, you know, there's not a ton of female leaders in sports, let alone in men's sports. Um, your journey to it and what you would, what advice you'd give to others? You know, I think for leaders, I think one of the big things is that at the end of the day, this work can never be done alone. And it starts with great people. And in order to really be a great leader, you have to be able to connect well with the people around you, whether that's motivating your team, pushing them forward, listening skills. So what I really stick to is my three C's, consistency, communication, and commitment. And I really live by those through every piece of what I'm doing. And I think about that for our young leaders looking to make that next step, right? Be consistent in your work behaviors, be committed to the work, and really learn how to communicate with others. When you start to do that, it really brings the world together around you to elevate a business. So for our young people out there that are looking for that next step in their career, as they're going through this, I challenge you to really stick to those three things and really look to skill build. As much as you can build skill in the work that you do, 
versus just chasing the next title, you have an opportunity to really be effective in the workplace. I love that. I, I, I love how simple you make it. Just remember <laughs> these things. And I, I do think there's something to create the opportunity for yourself. Gain the skill so that you have yes. the choice. Right? Absolutely. But I say to people all the time, that's how I've approached my career. I just want to have the choice. Yes. I don't know that I'll take it if the opportunity comes up, but I want to be in the conversation. That's right. And when your skills are strong, you end up with a lot of choice. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Well, what are you most excited about this week? You know, this is actually my first time here. So yeah. I am excited to really connect with the, the different brands that are here, experience it myself for the first time. Um, and it's been a lot of fun and the opportunity to share our story. Um, and so it's been, you know, we're really just diving into the week, day two, um, yeah. but, but we're making it happen. Awesome. And if you wanted people to know one thing about DC United, what would it be? I think one of the things about DC United that I want people to know is that we're committed to the work from beginning to end, both from the sporting level to the community. Um, we're excited to continue to grow and help elevate Major League Soccer. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, that's it for now. Be sure to follow Stagwell and 72 and Sunny across social to catch up on all the action from season two of Sport Beach.